The Ashama Municipal Health Director, Patience Amima Mata, has expressed worry over the negative impact of lead poisoning, especially in pregnant women and fetuses. Findings of a research carried out last year paints a gloomy picture of children under five years old having high levels of lead in their blood. Patience Amima Mata says the situation is worrying. The exposure to lead poisoning and its long-term impact on health has become an issue of worry for the Ghana Health Service and other stakeholders. Generally, lead in blood results in damaging of vital organs leading to death in some cases. A research carried out in Ashaiman Municipality by Pure Earth Ghana Health Service and other partners last year in children under five years revealed a rather disturbing situation. Out of 405 children, close to 60% had lead in their blood. Ashaiman Municipal Health Director Patience Ami Mamata says exposure to used car batteries, smelting, burning, among others, are said to be sources of lead poisoning. Lead poisoning or lead in blood can lead to hot, premature births, low birth weights. Lead poisoning affects the kidneys. Lead poisoning affects the neurological function of the child. In fact, mental development of the child is negatively affected by lead poisoning, among others. And the organs are not spared either. There's kidney failure. It affects the heart, among others. Country Director for Pure Earth, Esmond Wisdom Kwanza, called for close collaboration among stakeholders to help mitigate the impact of lead poisoning. Um, sources of lead pollution, based on our research, we are looking at uh, the used lead acid batteries as one of the main sources. Uh, we are talking about the, the locally fabricated cooking wares that have a lot of sources of lead poisoning in Ghana. And then we're also talking about these cosmetics, the traditional eyeliners or the kaji kaji. Um, these have adverse effects on the maternal health in Ghana. Uh, what we are doing is collaborating with Ghana Health Service, um, EPA and UNICEF. We put together an action plan to address the, you know, the silence, um, aggression of this menace of lead pollution and poisoning. And I'm happy to say that the ministry has shown a lot of determination, has shown a lot of uh, resilience to collaborate with us to tackle these issues. Meanwhile, Acting Director, Ghana National Cleaner Production Centre of the Environmental Protection Agency, Leticia Abrakom Nyaba, says the agency is much concerned about lead poisoning. She believes proper recycling and handling methods will minimise risk. So everything that concerns the management of lead and its recycling has been spelled out in the technical guidelines from the Environmental Protection Agency. This is to help the people who work with lead, to help the people who work, who, who work around them. Some people don't work directly with the lead, but they work in the environment where the work lead is being smelted and they get affected. Our fathers go to work in Tampa. They have worked with lead. Their mothers have never been to their working places. But they bring their clothes home, and typically the women will wash them. When the women wash them, they get contaminated by the lead. But we have to know how to go about it. It is very important so that we will preserve our families, we will protect our children, we will protect the generations that are yet unborn. In attendance were pregnant women, pupils, Ashaiman Municipal Assembly, the new Crystal Hospital brand ambassador Ikuma Mamazimbi, among others.